What did the waiter say to the table of all Jewish ladies? Is anything all right here? Ah. <laughs> hey, kitten, do you want to come and have lunch with me and talk about our 23andMe reports together to benefit Bright Pink? Seriously, we're going to get lunch and talk about one of my favorite subjects, boobs. See, 23andMe not only helps you learn about your ancestry and genetic makeup, it can also test for three selected variants in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes that increase risk for certain cancers, including breast and ovarian cancer. So it's important to know if you have one of those mutated little f***ers inside you because that could seriously be life-saving information. And it's doubly important for me because, and this is going to come as a shock to you, I am Jewish. But these three BRCA variants disproportionately affect people of Ashkenazi Jewish descent like me, which is, as my rabbi sister would say, fing bullshit. And I am going to deal with that bullshit the way my people have been dealing with bullshit for millennia. I am going to sit with a bunch of tough older Jewish broads and complain about it. Let's do this. What kind of advice did your bubbies give about your boobs? About what? Your, your boobs. boobs. Oh. Keep a clean house. <laughs> that is not breast related, Joyce. No, but that's the only thing she ever said. <laughs> My bubby would always say, now when you walk, keep those knockers up. I love your bubby. What are some other names for breasts? Bongos. <laughs> Buns. <Okay>. Buns? <laughs> I don't think that's your butt. How about titties? When you were young, that was kind of the name. That's your titties. Yeah. Bazooms. Have you ever heard that one? Well, yes. bosoms. Bosom. But bazooms. Bazooms. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah. Some men name their penises. Did you guys ever name your breasts? Big Mo and Little Mo. <laughs> <laughs> right. I call mine my tchotchkes. Tchotchkes are valuable collectibles. So these girls are my tchotchkes. I like that. If you could go back to when you were 20 years old, what would you tell your boobs? Wear a bra because they bounce around and you'll get Cooper's droop if you don't. You Cooper's know what, droop? Cooper's droop, yeah, the Cooper muscles. Keeps the muscles short and they won't droop. My problem was they never came in. Some people don't develop until they're 74. <laughs> <laughs> you know, men are also susceptible to this BRCA variant, but a lot of them don't know that. What else do men not know about their own boobs? That they're very, very sexy oh. and a big part of Pow. <laughs> you know, over the waterfall. You know, pow. Hold on. Is pow slang from like your generation? Yeah. Orgasm. Really? Pow is orgasm. Over You're the kidding. waterfall. You didn't get it. It's just called pow. pow. That's it. Getting pow. <laughs> Getting pow. I love that. <laughs> The bubbies have all the cool lingo. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Listen to your bubbies. Go to omage.com slash Sarah to enter for your chance to review our 23andMe reports together over lunch. And the best part is if you donate, you're going to be helping raise awareness about breast cancer risk and prevention through Bright Pink, an amazing nonprofit organization on a mission to help women manage their breast and ovarian health proactively. You may not be Ashkenazi, but all women are at risk for breast cancer, so let's be part of the solution. And since these BRCA variants also affect men, that means you too, guys, or however you identify. Enter now, and together we can unhook the bra of ignorance and flash the world with beautiful, life-saving breast health information.